summer of 2013, and I was still living at home in New Jersey with my dad and my brother, and I decided it was time for me to make a change. So my cousin had moved out here about a year prior, and I decided to come out and visit with her and see how I liked it. I ended up falling in love with Arizona and looking for an apartment while I was out here. I went back home and quit my job of about 10 years or so, um, packed up a rental car, and drove cross country to Arizona. Once I was out here and more established, I decided to become more involved with the community, and I started to volunteer for a domestic violence shelter called Chrysalis. About six months into volunteering, I found a job with a law firm that handled default, which I knew I wouldn't be interested in, but it was a paying job at the time, so I had to take it. Once working there, I realized I needed to do something more meaningful with my life. I couldn't just go to a job every day because it was a job. And the only way to do that was to come back to school, and here I am. Um, I, right now, am taking my, well, I'm trying to get my credits in the Associate of the Arts in order to transfer to a four-year school to get my bachelor's degree. I am hoping to get my bachelor's in either nonprofit management or a degree that will help me become a victim's advocate. I'm not quite sure uh, what that degree would be, be in yet. Um, I am not taking this class by choice, obviously, because <laughs> I don't like talking in front of the groups of people like most people don't, but I definitely do believe that it is something that will make me grow as a person and like many things, it's something that I have to do that I don't want to do in life. Um, I chose honesty the first day as my best attribute because I'm a firm believer in honesty is the best policy. And actually people make fun of me all the time and say like if they ever did something wrong, they're never gonna tell me because they're afraid I would tell somebody. But really people have even asked me for advice in the past and I have told them all you could do is be honest and person can either accept it or not, but at least you'll know at the end you did the right thing and we're honest. Um, that's a little bit about being Jen Donnelly, but before I leave, I would like to leave you with one of my favorite quotes. Don't judge others simply because they sin differently than you. And I chose this quote because I'm a person that knows that everybody has a life story and we don't always know what that story is about so it's important to be kind to people because you may be the only person being kind to them at that point